All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from Northern Tesla. We are finally doing another FSD video. Now, if you follow me on X, I've had my little countdown of so many days without a software update in my brand new Model Y Juniper. It was 60 days, 60 days exactly. And I finally got 14.2. So here we are, we got 14.2 loaded on. I did a bit of driving earlier this morning and uh, it was really great. So we're just gonna do a little drive and uh, see if we can, uh, you know, put it through its paces and see uh, if there's any changes. Now, right off the bat, there's some visual changes. Right now, we have uh, self the self-driving button is different. You don't have to like long press it. You just have to press it once. And we also have your speed profiles. So we have all the way from Sloth all the way to Mad Max. I'm going to leave it in a hurry, see what that's like. Uh, you also have the choice of that disappeared. Uh, what it's going to do as destination, whether it's going to park or curbside, and whether you're going to a parking lot or charger. Now, one thing that Tesla may want to fix is, is if you go out of full screen and you bring up that driving profile thing, it's all blurred out. You can't see it from the car in the background. So they should probably fix that. But anyways, so off we go. So as I said, this is a brand new Model Y Juniper. So we are running AI4, and this is the latest version of FSD, which is 14.2, which pretty much went wide. Uh, one of the reasons I'm getting it, because you know I don't get any early, early releases. So 14.2 is really going out wide release, and a lot of you should have it by now. Now we're gonna start off in a residential area before going into uh, more of a commercial, some stores and some plazas. Uh, so in this residential area, this is Northern Tesla. We are living in the land of roundabouts. So tons of roundabouts and doing excellent. Uh, I really didn't have an issue with roundabouts on uh, FSD 13.2.9, which was what, what I was on earlier uh, for the longest time, 60 days. And really, roundabouts are no longer an issue. So this is kind of a quiet street, so I'm not seeing a lot of pedestrians. Uh, so it's going to just be kind of a casual drive. But one thing to note that I've noticed a difference is with this 14.2, it is really door-to-door -door driving. There's no longer an issue of, you know, you got to park it or it's going to get too close to your destination. It will park it will start from park and land in park, which is amazing. So we're going to see if it does that because on 13, sometimes it would park and sometimes it wouldn't. Majority of times it wouldn't. Uh, you have to park yourself, uh, but occasionally it would attempt a parking spot. So we'll see what it does. So one of my biggest complaints with 13 was the attention monitoring it was atrocious it almost made you not want to drive an fsd because every time you looked out the side window or looked at your screen for more than two seconds it would give you a warning i remember one time i was rubbing my eyes and it gave me a warning uh and then half the time you're looking at screens see what all these warnings are about and then you get a warning for looking at the screen uh like it was really unusable and it was just awful I remember one time I was, I had my hand like that, just in front of the wheel, and it gave me a warning because uh, it said the driver's hands weren't in a position to be able to take over, which was weird. I've never seen that before, and I've tried to recreate it and haven't been able to do so. Uh, so that was a really interesting thing. So I'm really paying attention. The camera, the cabin camera is really paying attention to what exactly what you're doing. So apparently with 14.2, it's been a little bit lax. Now, Elon did say in an upcoming update, you'd be able to use your phones, which is really a poor choice of words, which I'll get into in a moment. But uh, it says, uh, I've heard uh, online that with this version, it is a little more lax than what we're used to with 13, which was, should be amazing. So like, so far I've been kind of looking out the window and I haven't had any warnings. So, you know, this looks to be good so far. I might do a test later on and really get kind of like, you know, test it, see um, like, you know, how long can you hold your phone, your phone for or how long it's going to do that. Uh, we'll put it through its paces. Thankfully, right now, I only have one strike and it should be gone in a few days. So once I'm at zero strikes, uh, I'll do that for you guys. 
uh, and thank God that they've reduced the strike uh, allowance down from seven days because I, I was hurting within the seven days. I would probably would have strike struck out by now. Uh, so we are approaching our plaza. Again, really smooth drive. Haven't noticed any sort of braking or stopping. Uh, very, very smooth. And even in hurry mode, I, I would assume it would be a little more quicker with hurry mode, but this is very smooth. So maybe uh, at a future video, I'll test out each pro doing the same route with each uh, driver profile or speed profile, I should say. So we are going to make a left turn. Now going back to what Elon said about using your phones, uh, apparently in there's only two states, in, including Canada, that you can use your phone while driving. So Tesla or him saying specifically you can use your phone. No, you cannot use your phone. It is still against the law. Uh, however, what I think what he probably meant to say was FSD is getting to the point where it's almost good to be unsupervised that you would be able to use your phone, not pay attention, and the system wouldn't have an issue with it. However, state laws still are in place, so you can't use your phone. Uh, but it is a good sign that we're eventually going to get to a unsupervised version. So we are just going to wait for our green light. Anytime now. Okay, here we go. So we are going to make a right turn into this plaza here. Now there's two entrances, which is, I don't know which one. So the last time I went to the store, it went to, you can either go to the light up ahead and turn right, or you can go into here. Uh, so it really, I'm not too sure what the logic is or why it chooses one over the other, but it's really, it's not really consistent. So one day it will do one and the other day it will do another. So this time we're going this way, which is kind of like the back entrance, but it's quicker. So coming to a stop, it's a bit of a blind spot, so it's taking its time on that uh, right side. Now it looks like, so you can see from the dot over here, uh, it looks like it's going to go into like that first lane of parking. So let's see if it's actually going to park. I would like to see a setting where uh, you can choose what kind of parking you want to do. So it looks like we're going to park right here, which is nice because I don't like parking. Like I said, it'd be nice if you can choose, hey, I want to park at the far back of the lot. Uh, but this is a good spot. I like it. So like I said, this is truly door-to-door -door driving. I did not have to do a single thing. So this driver is going to be kind of like running errands, going from store to store. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to our next destination. So one new thing with 14.2, if we go to our autopilot menu, you'll see our driving stats. So driving total driving, which is 16.5 kilometers versus full self-driving driving, which is 16.4 kilometers. Uh, now I'm paying, I have to pay attention to the road. Uh, so I'm at 99%. So it'll tell you how much of your driving is done while on FSD, which is awesome. All right, so it looks like we're going the back way again. So it'd be really nice to get some edge cases in terms of like pedestrians or like, you know, crazy stuff, but uh, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to do that or just yet because it's really avoiding the high volume areas, which is nice because this is faster, obviously.
All right, so this is very smooth. And like, I swear, if I, if I had someone in the car and I pretended I was driving, they would not know. This is very smooth driving. So our next destination, we're gonna have to do a U-turn because it's on our left side of the road, but there's a divider in the road. So it looks like it's gonna have to make a U-turn. So this van kind of cut in just a bit, so I saw a nice little uh, slowing down there. So we're gonna have to do a U-turn. So let's see how it handles this. Because I don't, I think you might have to do a three point turn in this situation here, because those lines aren't wide enough. So let's see how this handles that. I'll of course, be ready to take over because I'm not confident in this right now. I'm not going to lie. And there's a Jeep behind me. Let's see what it does. It might have enough room. Oh. This Hyundai, it lights so fast. All right. All right, you turn, no problem. Easy. That is impressive. So we're look, look for another parking spot. And amazing, again. Uh, so let's go to our final destination here. So it looks like we're going to have to do a unprotected left turn. Or no, it's going to, what's it doing? So we have the option of turning left, but it looks like it's going to choose to do another U-turn instead. So I wonder why it's doing that. Because I'd much rather just go left. There's no, no turning left. Interesting. So yeah, it's going to do another U-turn, which I'm not too sure why. Would, like, why wouldn't just do the left turn there? I have noticed that this speed profile with the hurry is a lot. Um, it's not not smooth. Or like, smooth is fast, yes, but it's a lot less like. With the hurry mode in uh, 13, you can tell it was in hurry mode. Like it would go pretty quickly and it would be very, uh, accelerate very quickly. This is very, a step back, which is nice. I would hate to see what sloth mode is like. It'll probably be like your nine year old grandma driving. But we'll test it out. So I definitely do not like this making a right turn to do a U turn. I would have much preferred seeing do it just a regular left turn. Unless the navigation data thinks that there's a medium in between. 
we have an advanced green. Oh, it won't be you. So it does a really good U-turn. Doesn't it didn't come out all the way like it did last time? Just immediately did they immediately U-turn. So we're gonna make a left turn into here. Uh, no advance, but we got the possession coming. He's pretty slow. It doesn't look like he's coming. So it's going to proceed. Now we have dump trucks parked on the side. No issues here. Just going right around it. So with these FSD releases, this is 12, 14.2, and uh, ever since 14 came out, the updates have been very quickly. I haven't gotten any, of course, but uh, they've been out going out pretty frequently. And Elon did say that 12.13, or sorry, sorry 12.3 is going to be an even bigger update. So uh, not sure sure when that will come, but these updates are coming fast and furious. So not a lot of pedestrian traffic here, but just a lot of, it's a, it's a busy place. This is a four-way stop, three-way stop. So again, like you can get, the last time I came in here, the car went in that entrance. So this time it's going to this entrance. So I'm very curious as to how, why it picks certain entrances. If you look to your left, you'll see all the non-Tesla chargers that never work. They've been, they were up for a few weeks and they've been already bagged up because they don't work. All right, so I kind of figure out where it's going to go. So this is the front of the store. I thought I was going to go into that lane to park, uh, but it's going to come in here and go into here. So we have a couple of pedestrians walking. Very smooth there. And it's got to look for a spot. And here we go. Oh, we've got a door open here. Okay, good. So this is the first front parking I've seen so far. Is it going to readjust itself? Yeah, we're here. There you go. A little crooked on the parking spot, but that's okay. So yeah. So, you know, we've gone to a couple stores. And this is truly door-to-door -door full self-driving. Like, I don't have to touch a thing. Uh, like I said, my stats prove it. I've driven 99% of it on FSD. Basically, uh, the only thing it can't do is park in my driveway at home. That's the only thing it can't do right now. Uh, so hopefully we get there soon. All right, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified. And hey, like this video. I'll be doing more FSD videos. Uh, like I said, I'll be comparing the speed profiles, see exactly what the difference is between uh, Sloth and Mad Max, and we'll go from there. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. And uh, as I always say, in the meantime, drive safe, drive electric. But now you, you got if you want to be safe, you got to drive FSD. It's proven. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, if you got to try it. If you if you have a Tesla, subscribe for a month. See how amazing the software is. And if you don't drive a Tesla, find a friend. Come with me. I will take you for an FSD drive for sure. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.